Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the um, lesson on complex circle problems, part one. All right, we're going to split uh, spread this out over a couple of days. Um, so I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, how we're all doing with uh, uh, social distancing and staying home and all that. I hope everybody is well. So let's take a look at this first problem. Uh, if you look at this, we're given the arcs around the circle are in a ratio. And if you remember, what do we have to do with those? You have to take an X on them to make an equation out of it. And we know the arcs have to add up to 360 degrees. So I'm going to do this off on the side. So we have 3X, 5X, and 7x. You add them up and you get 15x. That's 15x. So then 15x equals 360. Three sixty, come on. I maybe I maybe should have typed this. So x equals 24. Okay. So this RQR was your 3x. 3 times 24 is 72. SR was the 5x. That makes that 120. I think I have to get a new stylus here. And QS was the 7x, which is 168 degrees. And when you're working with a complex circle problems like these, you've got to fill in all the gaps. So you have to figure out what all the arcs are, because the arcs are going to help you figure out all the angle measures. That's 72. OK? So that's important. You've got to look at that. So now let's go through uh, step uh, part A. QR, that's 72 degrees. RS, that's your 120. 120, OK. SQ is 168. Now, angle QRS, let's take a look at that. When you look at that angle, QRS, QRS right here, that's an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circumference of the circle, point R. And so you, when we're looking at angle measures, you have to figure out how is the angle formed, and then that will tell you how you can determine the measure of the angle. So this is an inscribed angle. The uh, vertex is on the circumference of the circle. So it's half of the arc. So the arc it intercepts is 68 degrees, and half of 68 is 84. OK. Now let's look at angle RQP. RQP. That's this one here, RQP. And how is that angle formed? PQ is a tangent, QR is a chord. So it's an angle formed by a tangent and a chord, and it's half of the arc that it intercepts, so it's half of 72, or 36 degrees. And now let's look at angle P. Angle P is out here. And how is that angle formed? It's formed by a tangent and a secant, right? An angle formed by a tangent and a secant outside the circle, because t the tangent and the secant both meet at point P. That that measure is large arc of 168 minus the small arc of 72, and divide by two. So 168 minus 72 is 96. 96 divided by two is 48 degrees. And all of these 
are on the reference sheet. There was a screencast about it. I gave you some practice yesterday. So you need to always look at how is the angle formed because that tells you how you determine the measure of the angle. So let's go down here to this one little tidbit of information. Congruent chords intercept congruent arcs. Okay, that's important. So in this example, you're told that AB and CB are congruent. Therefore, arc AB and arc BC are congruent. Okay? That's important. Congruent chords intercept congruent arcs. So now this is just an arithmetic problem because arc AB is 150, which means that arc BC is 150. And when you subtract them from 360, it tells you that arc AC is 60 degrees. 60. Okay. So now you look at angle ABC. Angle ABC is an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circumference of the circle. So the measure of angle ABC is half of the arc it intercepts. So it's intercepted an arc of 60 degrees. Angle ABC is 30 degrees. So look at the rest of the classwork. There's only a few more left. Thank you for tuning in. And this lesson uh, was brought to you directly from my dining room table, as most of the lessons are. So make sure you check Remind tomorrow uh, about a um, extra help at 2 o'clock. So have a nice night, everybody. Uh, hopefully we'll see each other soon. If not, we'll see each other on extra help because we'll do that on uh, Google Meet.